Hello, uh, I'm Muhara Tushai from Indi Sheikh Alauddin. I'm the presenter for this paper. So, uh, the title of the paper is The Role of Personal Characteristics Towards Students' Innovative Behaviour in Public Higher Learning Institution in Southern Region of Malaysia. Um, uh, the presentation outline. So, under, uh, under the... Uh, for today's presentation, uh, under the section of introductions, I will explain and present about uh, you know issues that trigger uh, my group member to uh, study on on this topic, and then under literature review, there will be um, a lot of past uh, studies or research uh, focus on students on uh, dependent variables and independent variables related to the study. Then there will be research framework based, um, which construct based on uh, the research that my group member have uh, performed. Uh, next will be on research methodology. So under this section, uh, discussions and presentations will be on the uh, technique that my group member used to uh, perform the study uh, technique for uh, distributions of questionnaires, sampling technique, all those things will be discussed under research methodology. Uh, finally, there will be results and discussions. What's the finding um, from the uh, research that my group member have uh, performed? And uh, later on, will be uh, there will be recommendations for the study. So without further ado, let me um, present on the introduction. So we know with the current situations, with the uh, pandemic, uh, COVID pandemic, uh, you know, a lot of business organizations, they have changed. Uh, their working uh, environment, they have changed the way uh, they run the business uh, business, uh, business operations. There's a lot of changes. So uh, most of the employers, uh, they, they, they want an innovative worker in the organizations because um, they realize um, we, we, the post-COVID uh, situation, uh, there's a lot of aspects that need to be uh, done in the organizations need to be focused by the employers. So they need innovative worker which can help a lot uh, in the organization. Okay, so uh, in a way, in a way, uh, this is also um, can be considered as a uh, you know a critical situations, especially for the universities. Uh, to produce graduates with innovative behavior skills because these university uh, graduates will uh, enter the job market and they have to uh, have these innovative behavior skills so that they can um, they can work and uh, they can work smoothly and perform better in the organization okay uh, so however uh, most of the studies, they focus on uh, university graduates, uh, students in academic disciplines and also in, uh, you know, innovative behavior um, in the aspects of uh, academic rather than uh, in the aspect of a working environment. So, and uh, plus, okay, plus uh, less studies focus on innovative behavior and activities for students, especially uh, students who have posts with administrative posts in co-curriculum or club or society. Okay, so de therefore, uh, my group um, come uh, come to uh, you know come to a point where uh, my group member decide uh, to study on this uh, aspect, where to look on innovative behavior and personal competencies of uh, university graduate, uh, university students who have uh, administrative posts in co-curriculum, uh, club or society in the new university. So the research objective for this uh, study is first to examine the level of competency towards uh, students' innovative behavior. Second, to determine the dominant competency towards students' innovative behavior. So let's look on the literature review. Okay. So uh, here under the literature review, this is the independent variable which are uh, represented by innovative behavior and there are um, eight, so there are, sorry, three, nine um, dependent variable which is student leadership skills, self-management, interpersonal skills, problem solving and decision making, cognitive 
development of critical analysis, organizational organization and planning, self-confidence, diversity awareness, and technology. So if we look on student leadership skills and competencies, there's a, uh, studies from Binawas, Bogler, Osman, they talk about uh, student leadership in academic performance, where most of the students, uh, they develop the self-motivation, thinking skills in their academic uh, discussions, academic assessments. They also work in team uh, to complete their assessment. So um, if we say there's less studies, focus on students who have administrative posts in co-curricular activities, how these, these students perform uh, in, in uh, demonstrating the innovative behavior. Uh, next variable is self-management. Self-management is about uh, how the student manage their time as a student, uh, especially for their studies and also in their personal life. So um, research or studies from Ko Yuan, Woodman, Luo, they talk about the importance of the time management for a student. And students do realize in order to be a successful student, they, uh, they have to manage their time very well. Next is on uh, interpersonal skills. Studies from Masduki Zakaria 2021 mention about um, characteristics uh, that uh, include in interpersonal skills such as negotiation, communication, leadership, and training and development. So um, for a student, they should have this kind of skills in order to be a successful student and also this uh, skills is very important, especially if they want to enter the job market. Um, next is on problem solving or decision making. So uh, there's a lot of studies uh, being conducted on this aspect, especially uh, where they look on how the students uh, utilize or use the resources and make decision making and uh, how do they come with certain uh, solutions for certain issues. Okay, uh, most of the studies, they, they focus on uh, how the students uh, make decisions for their uh, study, a, ch a choice of a study that they want to do or, you know, a job that they want to enter, all those things. Uh, but less, uh, less study have been focused on the innovative behavior, how students make decisions for innovative behavior. Next, a variable is cognitive development or critical analysis. So it's, uh, it, this, this variable is about change in mental attitude for learning, memory, language, thinking, reasoning, and creativity. So Papilla and Mo, uh, Motorel, they talk about cognitive development and critical analysis for students. So it's very uh, important for students to have these skills because um, during the process of learning, students need to uh, use the memory. They have to uh, come across with a variety or different language. And sometimes they have to do reasoning and creativity in order to be a successful student. Next point or next variable is organization and planning. So according to Gen 3 2016 and Lewis ETL 2001, they talk about uh, the importance of the organization and planning for a manager. Uh, they talk about uh, most of the organizations they, they will schedule or they will formulate strategy uh, in order to achieve goal for the business organizations and most of the managers they need to develop uh, certain skills or you know come and play certain roles in order to uh, make sure whatever they permit uh, whatever they uh, strategize uh, will, will take place uh, in accordance to this uh, in accordance as what they plan okay and our uh, next variable is self-confidence self-confidence is about uh, individuals performance expectations and their self assessments of abilities and accomplishments according to emra and orhan 2013 so um, this is very important for students especially uh, when they enter the job market because uh, they will face a um, variety of people um, with different background, you know, different level of superiority in, in the organization. So how confidence they can talk, how confidence they can uh, share different opinions, all those things will be reflected under self-confidence. So, uh, so it's very important um, uh, variable to demonstrate the innovative behavior. 
The second last variable is diversity awareness. Diversity awareness according to LICA 2019 is about attitude of a person uh, to view from different beliefs and perceptions. How do they accept those different beliefs and perceptions? So um, this is also very important because when a person work in an organization, they will have uh, workers with different ethnicity, different working culture. So how these students is going to uh, accept this kind of uh, different uh, working culture, different uh, ethnicity, how to cooperate or to compromise with the uh, diversity? Do they aware about the diversity or these things? Okay, so that uh, being discussed by Lika and how a student can uh, demonstrate the innovative behavior if they uh, have the awareness of diversity and the last one is about technology so we know technology is, is related to information communication and technology and it's very important uh, for all the organizations and I believe um, because of the COVID most of the organizations they uh, even though before COVID they don't rely on technology but COVID pushed them uh, to uh, embrace the technology in their business operation. So according to Verity 2016, um, technology plays important role also in, um, you know, in, uh, in, in uh, students' innovative behavior, especially when uh, their learning and um, their learning system change during the COVID where the learning system, um, most of the organizations, they practice online learning or integrated learning. So uh, the students have to uh, bear and they have to uh, accept and perform the new uh, learning styles. Okay, so uh, they, they have participated in the innovative behavior. So how about what students who have the administrative post in co-curriculum and uh, society club? So with the uh, extra responsibility that they carry as a student and how do they uh, manage their time? How do they uh, cope with their personal uh, competencies in order to be an uh, innovative uh, student? Okay. So um, most of the studies, okay, most of the studies, uh, they look on the students' performance in academic or students' performance in as a uh, intense in working place uh, in in a lot of aspects. But less studies been uh, focused on students who have administrative posts because we know students who have administrative posts in societies club. Uh, associations they have extra responsibilities on their shoulders they have to perform as a student they have to perform as a you know let's say president of the club or secretary of the club so they have the extra uh, responsibilities on on, uh, on their shoulder and they have to cope being a student and they also have to cope their uh, responsibilities um, uh, responsibilities with the administrative post at the same time they also have to live their personal life also so uh, how how do they demonstrate the innovative behavior? So we want to look on that aspect. So therefore, uh, from, the, from the studies that uh, have been conducted uh, by uh, previous researchers, so my group member um, come with a study where the independent variable consists of nine variables and uh, want to look on the students who have administrative post on innovative behavior aspects. So this is the IV and this is the de uh, dependent variable. So I will explain on um, research methodology. So for the study, um, my group member uh, prepared questionnaire survey. Uh, we use a uh, Likert scale 1 to 5 and uh, for the uh, questionnaire there are three parts okay uh, so one is uh, on the profile where we collect demographic information from the respondents like uh, gender uh, country re uh, sorry the region that they are you know um, uh, taking the course and then uh, part for independent variable on the innovative behavior and also uh, nine parts under dependent variable which consists on this uh, well, leadership, cognitive, problem solving and so on. 
okay this study is a cross-sectional study and three southern higher education in uh, malaysia have been choose uh, to participate in this study so students uh, who uh, become the respondents consists of 728 respondents and these students have administrative posts in the university club and society Okay, for the study, we use simple random sampling and the questionnaire survey uh, being distributed through Google Form. And for the analysis, uh, my group member have conducted uh, SEM analysis using path analysis. Result. Okay, this is the result, the path analysis, and this is the uh, independent variables, and you can see uh, the factor, the results of each uh, dependent variables and the relationship and the uh, results for the independent variables. Next is to a relationship hypothesis. So we can see from these results only uh, four. A uh, hypothesis is being supported, which is problem solving, organizational and planning, self-confidence and technology. So the rest of the uh, self-management, cognitive analysis, interpersonal analysis and diversity awareness are not being supported. So uh, let's look on the discussion. First one is problem solving. So students are exposed to problem solving uh, during the course uh, that they have been taught in the universities where case study, pro problem-based learning, team-based learning and outside classroom tasks are introduced. So uh, problem solving and innovative behavior have strong relationship. So it showed that uh, students become can become uh, innovative, can demonstrate innovative behavior if uh, they are exposed to problem solving. And students who have administrative posts with extra responsibilities, they have a uh, exposure on um, uh, you know to make decisions on certain activities under their clubs at the same time they have they have to make decisions uh, you know as a students you know to uh, at what time they have to learn all those things so all this exposure uh, you know give them of uh, make them uh, to become an you know uh, to demonstrate innovative behavior Next is on the relationship between organization and planning uh, with uh, innovative behavior. So we know organization and planning is about uh, strategize or uh, uh, formulate a strategy to achieve the goals. And of course, uh, students with innovative uh, students with uh, post administrative posts. Uh, they involve with a lot of events for their clubs. Uh, they have to organize a lot of events. They have to um, communicate, uh, make sure uh, the event take place as what they plan. They have to cooperate with a lot of uh, staff, students, you know, to make sure the uh, the planning become the plan becomes successful. So this uh, this experience, okay, uh, give the students. Uh, to uh, to demonstrate the innovative behavior. Uh, the third variable is self confidence. Okay, self confidence also has strong relationship with the uh, innovative uh, behavior. So as we know, innovative behavior is about changes in um, you know accepting people's views, changes in uh, accepting people's uh, opinions, errors, all those things. So it's like uh, if we want a worker or if we want the student to accept other people's opinions or errors and so on the students themselves uh, must have uh, must have their self confidence must uh, they, they they know uh, they have the knowledge uh, they they have the beliefs okay so um, then only they can make uh, certain decisions okay and the last and the last uh, variable is technology. Technology also have strong relationship with innovative behavior. As we know, uh, technology is very important nowadays, uh, not only for decision making, but to to run the uh, activities or operations. Uh, most of the organization, they need technology and students 
because of uh, COVID, they, uh, most of their, almost like one year plus, most of their studies have been conducted online. They've been exposed to varieties of, uh, varieties of apps uh, to, uh, in their studies. So they know uh, techniques, they know applications to communicate, to distribute uh, information, to, uh, uh, to organize meetings. So all these, um, all these uh, give uh, students uh, benefit and uh, make them uh, to demonstrate innovative behavior. The study that my group member have uh, performed, okay, uh, we come uh, we come for a few suggestions. Uh, as this study focus only on three uh, higher education institutions at southern region of Malaysia, so the sampling size can be enlarged where all the higher educations in Malaysia can be included and uh, plus can conduct in different types of universities like uh, public uh, public universities or private universities so the, uh, or college, a vocational uh, community college. So there might be difference between uh, the level or the type of uh, universities involved with the students with uh, administrative posts. Uh, plus, uh, moderate, uh, the studies also can include the study also can include moderator or mediator variables to have a more holistic view of innovative behavior. So, uh, I believe uh, you know the if the size the font size is small, uh, you may refer the references uh, at uh, the paper. In okay, case of copy of the paper, I think there are more than 30 references that our group member used to develop this paper, almost 50 plus. So you may uh, you, you may look on the references as well. So thank you, uh, uh, you know, to watch my presentation. Uh, I appreciate a lot uh, because you um, spend your time, valuable time to watch my presentation. So if you have any uh, questions related to this paper, you may email uh, any of the uh, author for this paper. Uh, we will uh, respond to the questions as fast as uh, we can. So thank you very much and have a nice day.